Mochi, I want you to let this plug from you to see if it works. Hello everyone, welcome and thanks for joining my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kevin and this is my dog Mochi. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install or replace your GFCI outlet. Alright, here we go. There are many common problems with the GFCI plug. If you try resetting it many times and it still does not work, most case you will have to buy a new one. But if you want to double check, you can actually swap out the one on the inside of your house with the one on the exterior of your house. They are both the same thing. Keep on watching this video, I will show you how to remove and install. First thing you want to do is turn off the breaker. I'll be looking for my washroom breaker. It says 11A and 15B. I'm not sure which one it is. So I'll be turning off both 11A and 15B. Step number two, we can take off the plate cover. Now let's loosen the screws for the outlet. Once you have the screws loosened, we're going to be very careful to pull this straight out from the wall. We're going to pretend that this is still alive. Now we'll need a volt tester just to be sure to double check that there is no power. If there's no power, that means this will stay green. And if there is power, this device, this volt tester will flash red. So this is 100% confirmed dead. It's safe to work on. That's only if your breaker panel is labeled correctly and that you have switched off the correct breaker. Now it's very important when you take off these wires from the plug, do not mix and match. Remember that one set is the load side and the other side is the line side, the feed from the panel. Now we can loosen the screws and take the wires off. We now have successfully removed the plug from the wires. Remember it's very important, do not mix and match the set of wires. Remember your feeds set and your load set. The load set could be plugs, lights, switches, it could be anything. If you only have one set of wires, even better, it makes it easier for you, which that will be the feed side. Not all GFCI looks the same, but they are very similar. They have a load side and a line side. The line side is the power coming straight from the panel. Now we are ready to install a new GFCI plug, but before that, I like to trim down the stripped wire. It's showing a little too much copper. The maximum co strip copper showing should be one centimeter. Too much copper showing is not safe. Now I will start off with installing the ground. Make sure it's nice and tight. Next, I will do the load side. I mean the line side. Remember, silver is with white. Make sure it's nice and tight. Brass with black. Now for the load side, remember very important not to mix and match. If the wires are installed and stripped properly, you should see no visible copper past the back of the plug. Now we are ready to insert the plug back into the wall and tighten the screws.
If you are 100% confident that your new GFCI plug will work, you can now put the plate cover back on. If you are not 100% confident that the new plug will work, you can put on the plate cover back on later. Now we can turn the breaker back on. Now we can test this outlet. On this model, there is a red light indicator. If I press the reset button, the red light should turn on. The red light turned on, so far so good. Now if I press the test button, it will trip this plug. Perfect, the plug is tripped and the status light is on. That means there will be no power coming out of these outlets. Here I have is a plug tester. We'll plug this in to see if any power is coming out of it. So there's nothing. Now I want to reset this outlet. I'm going to press reset. Now everything is back to normal. The bullet is functioning. Now let's press test one more time just to see that this outlet will turn off. Perfect, it's working 100%. If you don't have a plug tester and if you're worried to reuse something else, you can use a cell phone charger or any charger that the prongs are reversible. It will be safe to use to test. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Peace out until next time.